Hi guys, my name is Macy Cuthbertson and I am the president of the Sidekicks Drill Team. Today I will be teaching you how to do our basic competition and field season makeup. You will need these looks for, first of all, field season coming up very, very soon. You want to make sure to practice these and have them down by the time that season rolls around. So I just started by doing my skincare routine, which obviously if you do your makeup the morning of a game, you can do that if you have time, whatever you wanna to do to like start your makeup process. So first I start with a primer. I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and I just take that out of there, or you can use a liquid primer, whatever you wanna do, and just rub that on my face and blend it down to my neck. So after primer, I'm just gonna move on to foundation. I'm using the Juvie's Play Stick Foundation. This one is just personally my favorite and it works best with my skin and everything like that. So just pick whichever foundation works best with your complexion and everything like that. So, and I just apply it with a brush, but you can use a beauty blender, whatever you usually do with your makeup. So I'm just going to start by applying that on my face and just blend that down with my brush to my neck too. Because you want to make sure that your foundation on your face and neck match. Okay, so after I do my foundation, I'm just gonna go in with my concealer and I use the Age Rewind from Maybelline and I'm just going to hit where I know I have a lot of redness like under my eyes and just kind of my forehead, just kind of where I know I have a lot of spots, so. So after concealer, I'm just gonna go in with my powder. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. It's just personally my favorite. Um, I suggest using one that doesn't have flashbacks and then you don't look whiter in those videos that we get and those giant stadium lights will make you look whiter. I learned that the hard way. There we go. So after that, I'm going to move on to bronzer. This isn't required, but I suggest using just a little bit, just so you don't look completely washed out. And you are just gonna dust this onto kind of your cheekbone, just kind of trace that line on both sides, and then you're gonna go into your forehead. If you wanna go under your chin, you can too. I'm just going to take this in my cheekbones. And next we are going to move on to blush, which is a major, major, major part of our field makeup. So you're just gonna take this blush. I use the one from e.l.f. It's pretty pink, but that's what you need because you need your cheeks, your eyes, and your lips to, see, to be seen from super far away. So I just take this blush and then I take a brush that's so kind of like this and I just dab it in there and get the excess off on the top. And I just take this kind of on the apples of my cheeks and just kind of go a little bit crazy. Now the eyeshadow is a very, very, very essential part of our field makeup. So I like to use the Morphe 25A Copper Spice Palette. I got it from Ulta. I know a lot of other girls use this one too because this is a brown smoky eye look. So there's a ton of browns and golds and things like that, that you need for this makeup look. Another good eyeshadow palette is one from e.l.f. It just has three or four shades. It has a couple shades of brown and then it has a gold, which is exactly what you need. And I think it's $3 at Walmart. So I'll put in a little picture of it so then you guys can go buy that if you just don't wanna to spend too much money. Okay, so how I start my eyeshadow is I take a tan shade, kind of like that one, that just matches my skin tone and I dust that all over my eye up into the crease just to kind of set a good base down for all the brown we're about to apply. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of a deeper tan shade that I just used and just pack that on my brush and get that good in the crease and just kind of tuck that all over that crease. So 
So after I have that brown just kind of packed in my crease a little bit, I'm going to move on to a darker shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a darker shade. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brush and I'm just gonna take that shade right there and just kind of dust that, focusing that more on the outside just to get a darker outside and let the inside be a little bit lighter. Just like that. And then finally, we are going to take not black, but a pretty, pretty dark shade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that one that's next to the black and just take that on the complete outside and kind of tuck that down a little bit onto my eyelid. Just kind of like that. And then finally, I'm going to take a fluffier brush and I'm just going to blend everything out. So I'm gonna go back with that lighter brush and use my brush cleaner to kind of swirl it around just to get that lighter shade off of there. And you want to make sure that you have dark, dark, dark brown eyeshadow, because if not, we will send you back and you will probably most likely get a demerit. So you wanna make sure that your eyeshadow is dark enough so then people can see it from the stands. That's the whole point of the dark eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna take this brush, like I said, and kind of blend everything in. So after that, I'm just going to take an angled brush and go back in with that darker shade that we used. And I'm just going to take that under my eyelid a little bit on the outside just to give it that smoky look. So next we are going to take a flat brush and apply a gold shadow. So I'm just going to be using this gold shadow and I'm just going to take my setting spray, wet my brush a little bit just to give it that really bright gold look. And then I'm just gonna go in with that gold on that brush and I'm just going to pack that on kind of the inner eyelid, inner crease, inner corner, whatever you wanna call that. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with my fingers just so it's not a harsh line. Just like that. And I'm going on the other side. Just like that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of a lighter shade. Again, this is an optional step. If you have this eyeshadow, you're done with eyeshadow. But if you want to add a little bit more, you can just go in with a really, really light, like lighter gold than we just used. Kind of brush that in your inner corner. It just gives it that little bit of pop your eyeshadow look. So next I'm gonna do my brows. If you have lighter brows, I totally suggest filling in your eyebrows because if not, you're gonna look like you have no eyebrows in all the pictures, I promise you. And one of my favorite brow pencils is the e.l.f. one. And I know the brown will look a little, little bit deep if you have like blonde hair like I do, but I promise it works. Just go with it. And if you can't fill in your brows, then that's okay. If you wanna get a brow mascara, that's what I did at first, just so you look like you have eyebrows in your pictures. Okay, so for eyeliner, I don't have my current one. I usually use a felt tip eyeliner, but I'm gonna be using one in a little pot today. So you can do a wing if you want. I usually don't do a wing just cause I don't wanna risk, if I have good eyeshadow, I don't wanna risk doing a wing. If you're trained in makeup, trained in eyeliner, go ahead, do whatever you, want to do but just make sure you have this basic line going across your eyelid just to stick the lashes to and to make your eyes pop. So I'm just going to start with this eyeliner and I'm just going to brush it on my eyelids just keeping it as close to my lash line as I can. Okay there we go so after doing my eyeliner I'm just going to move on to the scariest part which is lashes. Okay, so I am going to explain this in the competition makeup video also, but some of my tips for lashes are you want to use lashes that have a thinner band if you are just beginning to put lashes on. This will make them a lot easier to stick to your eyelids and it's just a lot easier overall. So next, if you have smaller eyes like I do, you cannot use this full lash on your eye. It will look stupid and it will fall off. Trust me, I've learned everything from experience. And 
Another thing that I suggest is getting a brush on lash glue, just because that makes it all easier and the glue doesn't completely like fall out on your lash, which is terrible. And then you glue your eyelids together. Just trust me. So I have my scissors and now I'm just gonna take my lashes. Some of my favorite lashes to use are the Kiss Sequin Lashes. Those have a little bit of a thicker band. And one of my favorites that I used starting out to do lashes are the Kiss Poise Lashes. So I currently do not have any left except for one for some reason, but those are what the package looks like. So if you want to go ahead and get these from Walmart or Walgreens, CVS, whatever you want. So next, I'm just going to take these lashes off the little container and I'm just going to measure them to fit my eyes. Now, again, if you have really big eyes, you can go ahead and just use them full, whatever you want to do, whatever works best for, you, best for you. So I'm just going to take them and I'm going to measure them to my eye and I'm just going to cut them wherever I like marked off with my finger. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this one. So I'm just gonna take this glue that I was talking about. And I'm just going to brush that on the band, just like this. So I'm trying to get a good angle for you guys. So just brush that on the band like I was talking about. This is not the easiest thing to do, but just go ahead and brush that on. Just kind of how you think you would. And then now I'm just going to apply the lash. If you have an applicator, I totally suggest that. So how I use it is I just take the lash, put it on there with my fingers. Just kind of apply it. Just like that, just kind of get it on my eye. And then I take this applicator and push it on my eye just to make sure it stays down. You can kind of clamp the lash on just like I'm doing right now. So just kind of push it off. Okay, so I got my lashes on, both of them are on. Usually I pick some that are way more dramatic, but this is what I had available right now in quarantine. So yeah. And then next, I'm just going to take a mascara. I'm using this one from Maybelline and I'm just going to use it to blend those lashes together. That'll also make your lashes pop a little bit more. And then you're also gonna do this on the bottom lashes. Okay, one of my favorite lipsticks is this one from Sephora in the shade 95. It is the perfect red for football season and it really stays on the whole night, which is exactly what you need for football games. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. It's a really cheap lipstick for being from Sephora. So yeah. Okay, and now that I have my lipstick on, I'm gonna do my final step, which is to set my makeup. This is super, super, super important because games are always long no matter what and you want your makeup to stay on the best it can the whole night. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my makeup. There we go, just like that. So after setting your makeup, you are done with your field season makeup and some of my last tips are to do your makeup in the morning so then you don't have to rush to get it done during lunch. If you know you can do it during lunch, then I totally suggest that. Whatever works best for you and your makeup skills, if you are a beginner, I recommend practicing this over and over again until you feel comfortable doing it. So yeah, so thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you learned a lot. And if you have any more questions or anything else, you can email me, you can text me if you have my number. So yeah, thank you. So after... <sighs> Yeah, good enough. Field, fields, fields. That means I have to start over. Oh my gosh. Get your head in the game. Get your head in the game. Like High School Musical, oh my gosh.